You may ask a question whether this is the right time to invest in stocks. So the actual momentum what we can expect from Nifty is no one thing. Now the FIIs are pouring in a lot of lot of cashes into Indian market and that is why the market is going up. But the real reason, the next thing is what is going to happen now, whether the Nifty will sustain above this and will go higher or whether it will come for a correction. So that is what we have to see. This was the previous resistance level and Nifty has crossed above that. Now, the thing is, what is happening to Nifty and what is the structural wave of uh, Nifty is. Hi there guys, welcome back. This is Kishoria, founder and CEO of Trade Achievers. So in today's topic, what we are going to talk about is what is going to happen to the markets after US election. So as we have seen, the market has been rallying for a long uh, time and now the market almost uh, moved in a bullish move for more than uh, 5 to 6 percent in Nifty alone. So as I told in my early uh, video that I said that uh, every time uh, when uh, election is there, almost 4 to 6 percent momentum is always expected. So that is what happened this time. Nifty moved more than uh, 5 to 6 percent in the trading sessions. So first, uh, before seeing what is going to happen next, We'll uh, just see what are the key factors which are trying to move the market up. So the first thing which is trying to move the market is the, uh, uh, the news which came out that the vaccination for coronavirus has been found and it is almost at the progress of 90%. So that has really made a, a positive impact in the stock market and the market started to rally in the global markets as well and the Asian market has started to move up <clears throat> and all the globalization market depending upon this news started to go in a bullish way and the second news is obviously the US election so after US election and Mr. Joe Biden has won the presidential election and Democrats obviously the market has started to move in a, a bullish way and the third main reason important reason is the FIAs has started to pour off full of cash flows into Indian markets and for a consecutive of six days, they have started to invest in Indian market. Every time the market opens up, they are starting to buy and buy and buy. So that is why the market is going on higher and higher. So these are the important key factors which moved and <coughs> which helped the market to rally in a bullish wave. All right. So the next thing is what is going to happen now, whether the Nifty will sustain above this and will go higher or whether it will come for a correction. So that is what we have to see in technical analysis. All right. So uh, before seeing Nifty first, I'll show you about Dow Jones. Already we have spoken about it. So I just uh, talk about it and then we'll to move uh, towards uh, Nifty. So last time I said that uh, this was a double top and this is your neckline. So in last video, what we discussed is if the market is able to break below the neckline and close, we said that we can expect a huge fall in Dow Jones. So almost we expect a 9 to 10 percent correction in the market if the market is able to come and close below the neckline level. But the market was not able to close below the neckline level. It just reacted to the neckline as a support and it started to move up. All right, because uh, during the election polls time, we came to understand that Joe Biden was leading and he was around 263 electoral votes, whereas Trump was just at 214. So that is what pushed the market in a higher wave. And the market started to react at the support, key support level, and it started to move up. So now what is happening to Nifty is, so we can see that Nifty has uh, made a new all-time high and is now closed at 12, uh, 12,631 was the closing price today and uh, this was the previous resistance level and Nifty has crossed above that. Now the thing is what is happening to Nifty and what is the structural wave of uh, Nifty is Nifty is now traveling in a Elliott wave structure. So as you can see from this. So we can see this is a clear Elliott wave structure. So. How to confirm whether it is a perfect Elliott wave is see if you just uh, draw a line to 1 and 2 and try to place it over 3 and 4 you can see it is perfect and from that we can understand this is one of the major confirmation that this nifty is going in a Elliott wave structure and uh, the market has come to uh, the last structural wave that is the fifth wave and the target for the fifth wave will normally be from 
one or it can be an extended wave which can go up to three so if you take the first level and this will be the first level and if you take the second one it can go up here all right so if you take the targets so we can expect nifty around 11200 to 11800 so now we are at uh, 12,600. We can expect another 600 points or we can expect another uh, 1,200 points of momentum in Nifty. So uh, you may ask a question whether this is the right time to invest in stocks. Yes, since the market is moving in a, in a what to say, in an upward direction and the trend has gotten to an upward, but yet it is at the last wave of Elliot's. So it is better to be careful and be investing in shares. That is my advice. So we can expect another momentum of 4% uh, to 9%. So the actual momentum what we can expect from Nifty is uh, actually it is from 4% to 9% the momentum can be happening in the coming days. So my suggestion is since this is the last and final wave where after this there should be a major correction. So what I mean as correction is the market will try to uh, correct because no one thing now the FIIs are pouring in a lot of lot of cashes into Indian market and that is why the market is going up. But the real reason for FIIs to come in is to come out. That is why everybody comes into the market. They try to pour in the cash just to make profits and come out of the market. That is the whole reason. So the FIIs are pouring out as a retail trader don't think it will be always there. So at some point of time they are going to make a profit booking and this will happen as a correction. So when at the end of the fifth wave, the FIIs will be starting to book their profits and the market will uh, automatically tend to fall. So that will be the correction time. So my advice is have a proper stop loss range and consider where you want to cut off your position. My suggestion is if market closes below 12,440, that will be the major support. If the market comes again below that, it can mean that it can come a little bit lower as a correction. Not as a downtrend, but as a correction because the trend is upward now. So we can expect another correction. So my advice is if you're going to go for a buy in shares, try to have a proper risk management and money management since we are at the end of the fifth wave. So market can go up, but still we can expect another correction in the market, not a crash. This is a correction. So we can expect another correction. So have a proper stop loss. And then you try to trade in equities and it is a very time, good time to trade in options as well. So try to have proper uh, stop loss for options as well uh, and take a good trade uh, based upon all the Greeks and everything about the option trading. So that will also be very helpful for the retail trader. So my advice is use proper risk management and money management in investment in stocks. Now because we are at the last wave of Iliad structure. So that is my advice for all the retail traders. So hope this helps you and uh, trade carefully and uh, be safe. That is my uh, advice. So thank you very much for joining. Take care.